women responsible for our independence right here in this country. Women who help with our independence are least recognized and even known. This is why the class is here. Yesterday we talked about the woman who changed her name and adopted the name of Kwame Nkrumah. She decided to call herself Kwame Nkrumah. Unfortunately, in Ghana, women are not called Kwame. So, the equivalent of Kwame for females is Ama. So she became known as Ama Nkrumah. Kwame Nkrumah saluted her several times. Today, we are talking about one of the backbones of our independence. Her name, Rebecca Nadede Ayite. Rebecca, Rebecca Nadede Ayite is my guest right here in the African history class. And by her name, you can tell straight away where she's coming from. My brother, my sister, from Gamashi. My brother, my sister, Rebecca Nadede Aite was born in 1923, and she was born in Osu, right here in Accra. My brother, my sister, born in 1923. Oh, my God, have mercy. She was born in Osu, and she was a businesswoman who was seen all over the Makola market. She was seen in Osu, and she was selling flour. In fact, she was very, very famous for selling flour. Everybody in Accra knew her. And she traveled to other parts of the country to sell flour. In fact, it came to a time anybody who needed flour, wheat flour, came to her. She was the main distributor, in fact, of flour. And because of her business, she became very, very rich. She didn't have so much education. She only finished primary school. And right after finishing primary school, she decided that no, it was time now to go into business. Na de de ayite. In fact, her mother was from Ga Aseri. And her father was from Osu. And she herself was born in Osu. She went to primary school. And right after primary school, she went into the flower business that you were told about a few seconds ago. She became so wealthy and influential. In fact, at the point, she was the richest woman in the whole of the Gold Coast. Now, because of her flower business, people simply nicknamed her Ashikishain. Ashikishain. Ashikishain in the Ghana language simply means flower. So mommy Ashikishain. That was what she was called. And some other people called her now they they Ashikishain. Oh my God. Ashikishain. Ashikishain. All right. So my producer says Ashikishain. And that means flower in the Ghana language. Oh my God, have mercy. Today, my brother, my sister, we have the single privilege to talk about one of the heroines of our wonderful independence. Na de de ayite ashikishain. When Kwame Nkrumah was invited into the country by the UGCC, she heard about him and was so interested in our independent struggle. Now she became a very powerful member of Kwame Nkrumah's movement, especially when he broke away from the UGCC and founded the CPP. Kwame Nkrumah did not have any financier. Remember the main financier for the UGCC was called Pa Grant. And Pa Grant himself fell ill, very, very ill, at the time that Kwame Nkrumah broke away from the UGCC. So he himself was not able to really finance the UGCC nor Kwame Nkrumah anymore. He took Rebecca Nade De Ayite to finance Kwame Nkrumah and the CPP. She became the main financier of the party. All the money that the country, the, 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 the CPP party had, my brother, my sister, in terms of finance, majorly came from Rebecca Nade De Ayite. She spent so much money. She was not only spending money, 
She was also involved in party activities. She was a very powerful feminist who wanted all other women to be able to reach her position. Now in the, in the days, men took over almost everything. And even in marriage, men controlled everything. She didn't like the idea of women sitting down and be controlled by women, by men. She didn't like it when women were sitting down and men were controlling them. She didn't like it when women had to sit back and expect men to feed them and uh, deal with the finances in the home. She said women could also rise to that level by getting themselves employed well and make some good money. So people saw her as a feminist. But the feminist that she was, she spent so much money to propagate the activities of the CPP. And she was not even interested in any ministerial appointment or any such appointment. She bulldozed her way through the men's rank and file. And because of that, she made so much enemies for herself. Yes, in the land where men had a field day, she was the main voice of the CPP. She controlled the rank and file of the CPP. She had so much money to do that. And she encouraged other women to come on. With people like Amma Nkrumah, she organized the women to rally behind Kwame Nkrumah. And other political parties like the UGCC and the rest were so jealous and envious of her achievements and were looking for a way to silence her. But when money talks, continue. Hear me now. Yabo, yabo. Now she was the one who financed Kwame Nkrumah to win the Ashiedu Keteke Legislative Council seat, which made him to be the first Prime Minister of Ghana. So the first Prime Minister of Ghana and the seat actually got sponsored by our wonderful um, heroine in the African history class today, Rebecca Nadede Ayite. My brother, my sister, everywhere money was needed, she was there to provide that. Her business grew bigger and better. Hear me now. Now, as she was growing bigger and better, oh my God, have mercy. When independence came, finally in 1957, she was the happiest woman on earth. Oh my God, she gave money out to people. Oh, she made food left, right, and center in almost every vicinity in Accra and beyond. People should eat for free. She was so happy. In fact, if she had a way of dancing naked like King David, she probably would have done it. She became so close to Kwame Nkrumah. In fact, Kwame Nkrumah moved with her to so many different places. She just had to cut herself short because she loved to do business and she did not want to be tagged along Kwame Nkrumah everywhere he went. But Nkrumah knew that anytime he needed finances, she was ready to provide that. My brother, my sister, hey, look at the interesting thing that happened. Now, Pa Grant was very, very sick. And because he was sick and was not able to actually finance the UGCC and some other such parties that depended on him. And because Kwame Nkrumah had also left the UGCC and Pa Grant himself decided to pull back a little bit, even though, I mean, history will tell us that he himself was bedridden and sick. There seemed not to be any financier for the other parties. And to see Kwame Nkrumah burgeoning, oh my God, and throwing about his weight in such largesse coming from no other person than Rebecca Nade de Ayite. Oh, she became very soon mm, 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 a victim of bad eye. Listen, now on the 22nd day of June in 1961, the CPP had a function in Ho. And when Nkrumah arrived there, oh my God, this pretty black woman, at that time, at the age of 38, only 38, Rebecca Nadede Ayite, oh gosh, she was in front of Kwame Nkrumah, organized all the women to dance and also to spread their clothes for Kwame Nkrumah to step on. The women made it very beautiful. 
they sang. You could hear their voices all over the place. Oh my God. Of course, the place was very warm and she was the one who organized the drinks for the people. While she was singing and dancing, she told a friend of hers that, oh, I am really thirsty, but I do not, do not want to leave the party grounds and go out there looking for water. I want to stay here until everything is done. Now somebody quickly heard this, went out there and brought her some water to drink and then some hot tea. She was very happy to be drinking hot tea in the hot sun. She was a hot woman. After drinking the water and then drinking the hot tea, she started having stomach issues. Mm -mm -mm. Her stomach started churning. Hey, in no time, her eyes started becoming red and watery. Hey, she started vomiting. Oh, she had been poisoned. My brother, my sister, she died immediately. And when Kwame Nkrumah heard that she had died because of poisoning, he wept a gallant fool that day. Oh my God, that was the end of Rebecca Nade De Ayite. In fact, she's been honored in this beautiful country called Ghana. Now, if you look at the 50 Peswa uh, coin, you will see that the woman on it is a very beautiful, bubbly woman, and that is Rebecca Nade De Ayite. Oh my God, have mercy. Listen, now there was a time Harry Sawyer, remember Harry Sawyer? Yes, Harry Sawyer imported some buses into the country, some double-decker buses. Now, those buses were called anti Day Day. Now, anti Day Day, this was the name that was given to the buses, and it was the name of this great black woman. And remember, there was a time this wonderful woman had an image on the national postage stamps right here in this beautiful country. Three times she was honored. My brother, my sister, the woman behind the finances that led us to our independence. This is one of the greatest women who stood behind and in front of our independence, giving it the backbone that it needed. How on earth is she never a part of the big six? She was a woman who avoided the spotlight. She always wanted to be in the shadows, contributing so much. Oh, nah. Day day aite. Oh, na day day. 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 Oh. She died on the 22nd day of June in 1961 in Ho from poisoning. She was too powerful for them. Uniyamiko! Na de de Uniyamiko! Na de de Miss Uniyamiko! Oh, mommy! Na de de bye bye yo! Uniyamiko! Uniyamiko! Oh, na de de! Uniyaminko, 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 na de de, Uniyaminko wate, Minubeko, Minubeko, na de de, oh na de de, Dabri Fadio. In the burden of knowledge, I ask you. Now that you know, what would you do? Bianeni on lay a mini obafe. Yezunda kagani. Meza kayini. Ye apa bango. Bukaya nung. If ya yenya. No kay na wo. Bana eu. Ebe den. Bana eu. Ebe ya bate. Lele anjima singa be kunne. Lele anjima singa beri. It's been the African historic class. Yes. And I'm most excited to be with you. My brother, my sister. Today we've been talking about the great Nadete. Today we've been talking about the great Rebecca Nadete Ayite, the main voice behind the finances of this nation. When Nkrumah became president, she never took any position. She rather wanted to be in the shadows, still working in the interest of this great nation. Oh, Nadete. Nadete. Oh, my brother. It hurts. 
She died at the age of 38. She was poisoned. My brother, my sister, they will remember you. And we say, wherever you are, rest in peace. Now they, they rest in peace. Let me refer to you. Do it, do it, do it, do it.